So I had my gun in one hand yeah. and the beer in the other. And the guy's all like, watch out for traffic. Fucking dick, I hate driving tests. So I told him, if you're such a pro, why you stop being a bitch and you take the wheel? That's when you told the car. No, first I shot a light. Apparently if you shoot a red, it does not go green. Did you at least pass? No, I fucking killed the guy on impact. Yeah, you did. Fucking pussy. Ah. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh shit. You know what? I think we picked him up a while ago. What? When? Remember that night on the beach? How could I ever forget? When we threw all our garbage in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, of course. Wasn't that like two nights ago? Yeah, it was. Holy fuck. Throw the book at him? Throw the book at him. Was that a dictionary? Yeah, and there's a picture of you right next to the definition of completely fucked. If you think we're some kind of police force, you got nothing coming. You see there? That's Detective the Arm, and I'm Detective the Hammer. Welcome to Pound Town, bitch. We like to shake shit up around here. Some may say it's not even legal. You're running with the big dogs now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Tough guy acting big dick can be a trouble on you. Well, it looks like your dick fell with the wrong hands! We're more than partners. We're Siamese twins from separate sims. We go together like seventh graders in Tide Pods. Like illegal fight clubs in elementary schools. Like STDs and Thai hostels. Cockfights and blood packs. Susan and her own book club. Other men and my ex wife. Fuck! Give us a minute. Hey man, what's going on? I just hate crime, that's all. Hey, look at me. Hey, you can talk to me. <sighs> I'm just distracted. Road tests. People dying. I just don't think I'm ever gonna get my license. Who cares what the dicks think anyways, right? Look, just because something's illegal doesn't mean we can't do it, right? Hey, we're detectives, right? Yeah, I guess. Fuck the rules. Fuck the rules, right? You're right. We're, Fuck the rules. Who are we? We're detectives. What are we? We fucking are detectives. Fuck crime! The fuck? Where'd you go? This. Well, man, tell us next time. Yeah, assholes just not right. assholes. Just ask. What's with the outfit anyway? Is that a bike helmet? It's gonna come in handy for the tour to ass he's gonna get in prison. <laughs> That's a tape recorder, and you're gonna confess to everything that you. What are we getting for again? You two know nothing about crime. You sit back drinking your iced tea flavored vodka coolers, perfect for any summer social gathering. Meanwhile, the city rots. While you sleep, I run. And when you're awake, I'm sprinting. You would know true speed if it fell out of a junkie's asshole. This city reeks of crime, and yet you do nothing. In the beginning, my vision was clouded by marijuana smoke, but things quickly became clear. The foul fumes that permeated my nostrils became my guide in the pursuit of justice. Dude, it's nice to see you again. It's been a long time. Yeah, man, I can't wait to show you what I got stuffed up by this bitch right here. Yeah, what's going on? I took action. My unique abilities immediately came to the attention of the international intelligence community, but I quickly learned that they were hypocrites, pencil pushers, more interested in global power plays than getting rid of the crime and evil that grows in our own backyards.
from a Bluto, right? Yeah, man. Dude, that was fire. I heard they're coming out with an album. The war on drugs changed. I realized that the corruption went straight to the top. I became an army of one. I had to evolve into a full-fledged war machine. I owned my body, my mind, until I became the most physically complete force of justice the world has ever seen. At times I was lost, forced to make decisions no man should have to make. But war, but war demands sacrifice. And I am the lamb. Wait, I know why we picked him up. Oh, fuck, I lost it. Yo, check out the new glass, though. Whoa, very clean glass, bro. Yeah, man, I picked it up on my travels in Jamaica. There they call it a bananas. Cultural. Yeah, it was actually forged in the bonfires of Kingston. It was cooled in the Caribbean Sea. The tricolor oh, hue is a natural result. Fuck. You know, it's like so incredible that despite our differences in geography and history, we all have a shared passion for Earth. The truest reminder that we're all human and the barriers between us are simply social constructs. Speaking of history, did you know the colors are inspired by the Marcus Garvey movement and the Ethiopian flag? No shit. Yeah, dude. Green, which represents the lush plant life and beauty of Africa. Yellow, the wealth, particularly in gold. Red is a reminder of blood that black martyrs shed and struggle for equality. How interesting. You know, Ross colors are so prevalent, but they're only ever associated with stoners and weed culture. It's nice to know there's an important meaning behind it. One, one question remains. What is it? You trying to hit this? Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> dope, dope. You brought a lighter, right? No, I thought you brought one. Fuck! Yo, man, uh, you got a lighter? We can hit you some bowls. Are you narc? Narcs have to say the narcs. God, matches, maybe? Do you know how many forest fires are caused by matches every year? Oh, he's just a forest narc. Oh. Good job. No. But hold up. I'm bogus. Ah! Oh! Uh, 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 fuck off! Wait! Uh, 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 no! Please! Oh, fuck! Please, you don't have to do this! Fire is the ultimate destructive force. You think you can handle it? Don't smoke weed. It's illegal. Oh, that's what it was. He killed the guy. Crazy we forget about these kind of things. Fuck. He's gone. Oh man. We'll get the next one. Should we get Jay? Cool. I'll drive.